Things you can do to prevent injury in the gym. Let's go. Okay, number one, make sure the weight that you are attempting is a lighter weight that you think you can lift. So for example, if we go on the lat pull down, the base weight is like a 2.5 and then it starts with a 10 pound. So if you can do 10 reps of this weight and get to the last rep and still be able to complete it, that's a sign that you can now move the lever into the next advanced slot, number one. Number two, slow down with your workouts. Especially if you're a complete beginner and you don't know what you're doing, take it nice and slow. You might walk into the gym and you might see people lifting really heavy weight with a very small range of movement and a very fast tempo. They're going to injure themselves. So please do not copy people in the gym. That's the third one. Don't copy people in the gym. If you're not sure what you're doing, grab a gym instructor, grab a PT. We are here to help you. Next one is engage your core. Engaging your core basically, so think of your belly button as a muscle, which it is. You're gonna squeeze in that core, but it shouldn't affect your breathing. So when you squeeze in that core, it'll give you the stability and the strength to do your workout and prevent injury. So that's super, super important. Next one is make sure that you're comfortable with what you're doing. So if you come into the gym and you wanna do a movement and you've seen it on Google or somebody sent you a picture on Instagram and you wanna give it a go, grab somebody and get them to show you how to do it instead of you trying it and then injuring yourself <clears throat> and then not being able to come to the gym for weeks. You always wanna have full control of the weight, whether it's a free weight, whether it's a machine, you always wanna be in control. You don't wanna let gravity do the work and you don't wanna just swing it into motion. So especially with a lat pull down, on the last rep, a lot of people just kind of come up with it. They don't control it. You have to have it controlled. And the last thing I would say is do not hold your breath. So for the average population, holding your breath is not the right thing to do. I know a lot of Olympic weightlifters and powerlifters do it. They're a special population. We are the general population. So what that means is, if you're lifting, there is a correct way to breathe and not breathe. But for right now, in today's video, just remember to breathe. That's it. Thank you for watching. I'll see you in another video. Bye.